The world that we live in is so is so contaminated with capitalist greed and 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 capitalist malfeasance that it's really difficult for most of us to get outside. Not get outside because there's no outside to capitalism as we live it today. For many of us to begin to think about what a possible alternative might be. And for those of us who, you know, 20, 25 years ago might dare to call ourselves socialists or communists, we're so now afraid of invoking those words. Those are, those are curse words, you know. To invoke those words is to lose your credibility. I would like to live in a world where I felt that the responsibility for someone else, my responsibility for another person, was equal to or, or, or far more important to me than my responsibility for myself. I think that that would be a measure of what it means to begin to strive towards some kind of collective self-good. I haven't been to any places where I think people are approaching that, that, that moment, but I do think that there are cultures still with us that offer us some real important insights. I think there are some aspects of First Nations and Aboriginal cultures and Inuit culture that offer some real insights into how to live collectively, the kinds of principles that we would need to live collectively. And, and, and to live in ways that still honor people's individualism at the same time that you create community. I think what we're living right now is a pale shadow of what human life can be.